Previously on Rudy B Takes Haiti. All right, y'all, so we are almost at Ilaga. Oh, did I tell y'all it's my birthday? Period. Yes. <sighs> we ran out of gas, y'all. <laughs> already here we um, made the reservation yesterday gave them the time and all that so they're already here waiting for us now we're just waiting for our bags um, of course local flights arrive at the small airport it's right next to the larger airport so yeah um, anyway they were supposed to ban private flights or private these private planes these like little small planes that are flying uh, to and from the south and I know there's some at the airport like there's some here um, people just got off of some and I'm just like I thought they were all banned because there was a um, a plane crash the other day and it was a very small plane I think it had like five or six people on it and uh, you know because of everything going on in there are a lot of flights to Jacmel and Ukai and stuff like that and so um, yeah they landed on the main road in Kafu I think it was a main road in Kafu which is close by, so they didn't even really, you know, they kind of came down like as soon as they took off, kind of. Um, but yeah, so after that crash, they're like they're banning all uh, private flights or private planes and all that stuff, and um, see them operating today, just a few days after they made that announcement. So I don't know what's going on, but um, they really need to get a control over that. Actually, they need to fix the problem in Matisse so that people can um, drive like they used to drive instead of having to take you know planes and stuff like that but yeah i would only fly with sunrise because that is a reputable company it's not tiny it's not like five six seven people um i don't know how many people were on our flights but maybe maybe at least 30. so it's a small you know it's a small plane but it's not that small you know it's not as small as the others so um, yeah I was definitely supposed to go somewhere um, in two weeks in Jack Mill but Sunrise has suspended all flights to Jack Mill and so um, yeah just would not work out because I'm not going on those little small private planes absolutely not absolutely not um, but yeah anyways if you're in Haiti if you come to Haiti you need to go to Okap Sunrise Airways um, that is definitely the way to go also, I think Sunrise goes to Okai and Jimmy as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely you can trust Sunrise Airways. Come on, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> 
Moi, c'est là, merci. We are on the way home. This is the main airport right here. We made it home, y'all. That was way quicker than driving. If we drove, it would have taken five to six hours. Yeah, it would have taken five to six hours. Um, and right now, you can't even really drive into Puerto Plans from the north either. There's, there's, there's some tension, there's some stuff going on. It actually started while we were in Ocap. So um, yeah, thankfully we just flew there and back. Um, yeah, everything took like two hours because we left at like 10. It's now 12 15, so it took about like two hours. Anyways, about to unpack. Um, Sammy's bringing the suitcase down to the laundry room because I like to unpack as soon as I get home, y'all. Um, I keep seeing this poll do you unpack when you get home a few days later or when you're about to go on your next trip? Who is waiting when they're about to go on their next trip? But actually, honestly, I've seen people do that online so maybe a lot of people do it I don't know but anyways about to go do that now um, and I usually clean the house before I leave to go anywhere so there isn't much to do like you know around the house but still you know we're not here for a few days we got to kind of air everything out and all that so anyways I'm about to get to it because um, I have a lot of other stuff to do today so no time to waste yeah I love getting packages I'm about to show y'all what I got so some of the stuff I ordered, some of the stuff Sammy ordered, um, this is what we have right here. I know this is one of my birthday gifts from Sam, um, cause I wanted a new desk chair. So I know that's it, cause I, I can't imagine what else would be that uh, big. Okay, okay. Let's see what we have here. This is, <laughs> can y'all see? So yeah, the first thing, is I don't know what's going on with this. It's like it has something like it's like coming out. <laughs> but um, I had this on my birthday list. So Sammy pretty much got everything that was on my birthday list. I wanted a new desk chair, and then um, because I want to kind of spice up this room a little bit. It's, it's really boring. I don't have anything on the walls, and that's because this is concrete, y'all. Like this is concrete, and um. When you put paintings up on concrete, it's just like, when you move, you have to do a lot of work. You have to patch up the holes and all this stuff because it's not like drywall. Um, it will literally like, the hole will be like this and it'll be like all this stuff like around it, like cracks and all this stuff that you gotta patch it up, paint it and all that stuff. So I was just like, I'm not doing all that. Um, and this is a small space. Like everything that I have in here now, I had it in um, the last place we lived. So, um, but if I were to buy things just for this place, I wouldn't have two desks, but actually I like having two desks cause I like to use the other side to do other stuff like sewing and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's a small space. So when we just moved in, I just put all my stuff in how it was. I didn't want to really do much uh, here. I didn't want to put any paintings or anything like that, but I saw something online where, um, you can like just have these hooks and you stick it on the wall and it should be strong enough to hold up the painting so i'm gonna try that that's actually something that i forgot to order on amazon um but i won't be ordering much anymore that's probably like the last thing i'll be ordering for a while um because i have something really important that i need to handle y'all and i just i can't be ordering stuff like clothes and shoes and stuff like that i feel like i have enough for now my wardrobe is pretty nice um you know i think it's, it's i think it's good for now so i don't really want to order i don't really want to order much because i just need to, <laughs> to do something very important that i've wanted to do for like 10 plus years 
you know, and I just, I feel like ever since I turned 30, I'm able to do much more. I turned 30 last year, by the way. So like the 20s was like a struggle, like always struggling to make it and, you know, never being able to do what I want to do. It's always like, oh my gosh, car broke down. Gotta pay for this, gotta pay for that, gotta pay for this. And never being able to do like personal stuff. And I've wanted to do this for like a long time. And um, the time has come, but it's pretty expensive. So I have to drop some racks. So I need to cut back on my shopping um, and just buy stuff that I really, really need. Like the hooks, I should have ordered that on Amazon already. But yeah, I didn't. But anyways, I had the, the chair on my birthday list. And I also sent him the link to these. Um, I, I got two of them. These two pillows to go right here because the chair is like a this color blue. I don't know if you can see, it's like this color blue, this one. And um, the chair is orange, but I know like orange and yellow, not orange and yellow, orange and blue are like complementary colors. So I said, okay, it, I think it will work. So um, I just wanted to have like some pillows to match with the chair. And here's so everything come together. And I'm gonna put up a few paintings over here. It's just a two little few things, like not, not too much, not too much y'all. I actually want to move by the end of the year. So I, I don't want to stay here for another year. Um, this is our second year here. Now, I don't want to renew at the end of our contract. So I don't want to do too much in this house. Um, and I probably have like a whole different setup when we move. So. so yeah, I don't know why it's like falling apart. So anyways, I kept seeing this scrub on YouTube. Everyone was buying this scrub. Um, and I'm just like, let me try it. That's why I'm not ordering anything else, y'all. That this is this is why. I'm probably not gonna watch a lot of hauls and all that stuff on YouTube. Cause it's always inspiring you to buy something and to try something. So, but I will not be buying anything, as I said, until I handle what I need to handle. Um oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, I see why everybody likes it. Well, I have to try it first. But it's the Shea Sugar Scrub and Tropical Mango. Let me show y'all. Is it focused? I know the YouTubers be going like this. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it's focused to me. But y'all, it smells so good. This is what it looks like on the inside. Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see. <laughs> Obviously, this is my first time doing this, so I also, okay, so I got some skincare, I have, I, because my skin has been in shambles for the past few months. I don't know what's going on, like, um, some products will work for me for several months, and then out of nowhere, just stop working. Like, does that happen to y'all? Like, I have oily, acne-prone skin, so, um, yeah. I'll find something and it'll be working perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, everything is good. And then boom, it stops working. I'm like, I've been doing the same thing for the past few months and it was working fine. And then it just, it just stops. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to try some new products. I'm going to get some of the products that I really like. Um, I really like this brand. The moisturizer works very well for me. Uh, it doesn't leave me greasy because you know when you have oily skin, you have to really find the right moisturizer it doesn't leave me greasy so um i just wanted to try the face wash as well i hope you can see <laughs> y'all i'm be so mad if all of this is blurry i'm be so mad i, I don't know why i can't really tell i don't know is it okay <laughs> it, i feel like it's focused on me okay anyways whatever so i got that so I like this moisturizer, it is the Calm Water Gel. And my only issue with it is that, this is very small. Let me, let me open it up so you can see how small it is. It's very small and it's like $52. But it works really well. Um, yeah, that is my issue with it. It's like, it's just, man. Why is this, why is this, like, I can hold it in my hand. Like, why is it $52, you know? Um, but I decided to 
really you know invest in my skincare because I was buying all drugstore back in the day and I was just always having issues like now I can go a few months but before it'd be like every other month I would have to change products or I'd be breaking out or trying to figure out why am I breaking out and stuff like that but now that I've gotten you know the more expensive products <laughs> I've been able to go longer without my skin going crazy I don't really know what's going on um we always clean the water tank so in Haiti you have um a pump that takes water up to the water tank that's on top of your roof and we always clean it just to make sure like, the water is like really clean and stuff but um and then we put this like clorox thing in the water so i don't know sometimes like the water breaks me out so i just i can't really figure it out i can't really figure it out the thing is I didn't think it was gonna be this this small, and I haven't tried this scent, so this might not have been the best idea. Okay, I had to take off my sweater, y'all. I was getting hot, but y'all, I live in the mountains, so that's why I be having on sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff like that. Because um, what is this? Oh, okay, this is for Sammy. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, this is Zara. Um, yeah, I love Zara. Our for Rudy, y'all. So, yeah, that's cute. Ever since I moved, I rarely order clothes from Zara because I feel like Zara is one of those clothes, those stores that you have to be there to try it on. Um, I don't know if it's because it's like the European standards and I'm very like curvy. So, um, a lot of the clothes... I, like, whenever I used to order online when I lived in the States, I would always have to um, return or go in and exchange and stuff like that. So I rarely order. So this is really rare for me. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just got some simple stuff. This is cute. Love simple things. That's what it says. It's just a t-shirt. I got it in a small because I remember the stuff being kind of boxy. Honestly, this is this is a risk. That's why I don't really order from a lot of like expensive stores and stuff like that. Like I order a lot of fast fashion while I'm in Haiti because if the thing costs $13.99 and doesn't fit, that's okay for me. But if it costs $52.99, like and it doesn't fit and I cannot return it and basically I lost the money or I have to like find a way to if I can alter it or that's a lot. That's a lot for me. So I um, I don't really order. <laughs> I don't really order from the stores that I used to order from when I lived in the States. Like I will order some fashion over real quick because I know I'm like, it's not expensive. And, and they actually, their clothes be fitting for my body type because like they fit like curvy type of people. This is a, this is a huge package. <laughs> this is, this is from Fashion Nova, but um sammy ordered some stuff as well from fashion men i think that's what it's called or fashion nova men something like that i don't know the men section and so it's all mixed in this um you know this huge box Today was a long day, y'all. So tomorrow is my cousin's funeral. This is my cousin on my dad's side from Tomazo. And um, her mom and my dad's mom are sisters, so that's how we're connected. And I actually lived with her up until I left Haiti to move to the States. So I was with her from 18 months to five and a half, around that age. And um, yeah, I was born in Plaisance, which is where my mom is from. But at 18 months old, they felt that it was necessary for me to leave Plaisance and go live in Delma. And I lived with my dad's side. And so I lived at Money Call's house. Um, I call her Money Call, which means Auntie, Auntie um, Nicole. But she's actually my cousin. And that's just because there were so many 
of my cousins there um, and that was actually their aunt and so they called her money call and so all of us called her money call even if she really wasn't our aunt she and her mom took care of me up until I left um, to move to the States and um, like her mom was my grandma like nobody could tell me that was my grandma that was actually my grandma's sister but she treated all of us like we were her actual kids not even grandkids like her actual kids and there were so many of us some people were actually her grandkids and then some of us were her sisters like different sisters grandkids at that age when you are a baby a toddler whatever whoever's taking care of you and giving you all that love and stuff like that um it's who you're kind of like attached to so um when she moved to the states so she moved to the states a few years after i moved and I was so thrilled. I was like, I could remember what she wore <laughs> when she moved. I was so excited. And I used to always tell my dad, I'm going to Milo's house for the weekend, because that's her daughter. Um, I'm going to her house for the weekend so I could spend some time with Gun. Like I was always going to her house um, because like, I just loved her so much and she loved me so much. And um, yeah, and when I would go back to Haiti, I would always stay at my Nicole's house because um, I would do half of my time with my dad's side of the family um, at Money Calls House, and then I will go to the north to spend time with my mom's side. And if you watch my um, video explaining why I decided to move to Haiti, then you will see that I was always in Haiti. So it wasn't like every five, 10 years. No, it was like every other year um, I was at Money Calls House. So yeah, um, her funeral is tomorrow. So it is definitely. Um, it's just, it's really shocking because her mom died December 2020. So her funeral was last January. Her mom's funeral was last January and her funeral is a year and some months later, you know? And so it's shocking to us because, you know, we just kind of expect her to live longer like her mom or something like, you know, it's like mom and daughter um, dying so close, you know? So today uh, we were kind of prepping I already had something to wear, but Sammy didn't. So we went to a few stores in Pitchonville. We actually went to three stores. The first store was um, a shoe store. We found something as soon as we walked in, pretty much. Um, it was really, you know, a really nice store. Thank you. So pretty. After that we left and we went to another store to try to find an outfit because the first store only had shoes and so the second store that we went to we were gonna get both the um, button-up and the pants and um, Sammy was trying everything and then you know we didn't even ask, look at the price we didn't even ask and then like at the last minute I was like how much is this and the lady was talking about the button-up was $95 American dollars y'all 95 American dollars and I was just like um for a simple black button up $95 and um, yeah that's why I don't really shop here like that I just order online because it's just like two three times the price you know um, so we were just like no way we, we bought the pants which I think was like 60 or 70 which you know isn't too big too big of a deal because they are pants you know but a simple black button up it doesn't make sense to pay almost $100 for a simple black button up you know Thank you. So we ended up going to another store. So this was our third store. And um, that's where we got a button up from there. And even that wasn't even worth the price because the button up is boohoo man. Like if we ordered it online, it would cost probably like $13.99. And in the store, it was $45, you know? And, you know, it's one thing to, to sell actual brands for a certain price, but not fast fashion. Fast fashion clothing, you get like two, three wears and then they're done. So why buy something for $45 when you can buy it for $13.99, you know? So that's why I don't really shop here. 
but um the thing is it's a funeral it's you know um short notice it's not like we had weeks to prepare or something like that and we could order in time and get everything in time no um we just had to go and get something that was you know here locally you know um and there are a lot of stores in pitchmobile that you can shop at if you need something so um that's cool that we had that option you know it's not like we didn't have an option at all so after we found um you know something for simon to wear we went to the house this is me my dad my cousin edwin and my cousin mylud <laughs> look at us are heading to my cousin's funeral it's in Taba um, there's a little traffic down the mountain which is making me a little anxious but I think it's because they're giving gas at the gas station that's on this road and um, you know we have like a gas shortage right now so whenever a gas station is actually supplying gas to the people um, there's always you know some traffic because everybody is rushing to get the gas at the same time and so it creates like a, a lot of commotion Okay, okay. 